All right, here we go. It's going to be starting. It is going to be starting. Oh, Jesus, that's loud. Wait, is, is that, let me know if the volume's going to actually chat. I actually, I'm not going to be able to tell. Concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. This might be very loud, I apologize. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. This okay. is a distress signal for the masters of the Nightwind. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. Great going, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Okay, I'm curious. What the hell? Let me praise names that go. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. Huh? His soul oh, is the Nosy restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It looks good, dude. Oh my god. Is that confrontation becomes inevitable i'll stall the captain while you advance what the hell is that Once you've learned the truth that oh my god here he is Ooh. would never willingly share with you you may just both that in your heart to consider my proposal we have to make the decision for her here and now a land without the lord of the night without the protection of the wolves is doomed from the start you presume too much Humanity's survival is worth any price. Dude, the music, wait, that limo teeth. Matmon must pay the price. And only now we can stand. All I wanted was to see her again. My enemy will not come first. I'm not giving up. Oh my god, dude. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. Exactly oh, that's fucking important. You've experienced something similar. Oh, God, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus fucking crap. Dude, that was sick. Okay. I think I was right about what I said before, dude. I think we're going to get the next, uh, the next Night Kingdom shit in this patch with more bosses to unlock all of the statues. And then we'll see from then on if my other predictions are correct. But that music, dude, was sick. Everything about that was so good. Oh, God. I'm nervous. What do you think? Good? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> God damn. Rollerblades, love it. Yeah, so I got leaked on one thing for Shalona, and it was her weapon, which I don't even think we saw right then, so I'm not going to say anything. Uh, that style is very interesting. It was kind of a, it was kind of a, a, a bit of a twist to go from, you know, riding rollerblades and DJing on an idol animation DJ set to creating an ancient name for the fucking traveler. God damn, dude. Uh, but yeah. Placeholder? Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. My name is Gabe, and I'm from the Genshin Impact localization team. And I'm Kyle, huh? I'm also from the Loke team. And will be your host for today's Who's program. That? We're He's usually from the translating localization and team behind the scenes, and so I don't know who this is. Wait. to talk about the latest update. I'm pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Wait, Hopefully. interesting. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. First up, Shilonen will be our new playable oh my God, character it's just the in VAs version 5.1. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Shilonen has a lot going on. I didn't even realize. Say, yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith Jesus, of the Children dude. of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You name it, and she'll make it. Cool. God damn. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill turbo twirl. <laughs> You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons. Wait, of interesting. Of new Does that mean the Pyro Rock and sunglasses are going to oh, do some wow. crazy she shit? So many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're fucking all laser really beam eyes. She commands so much respect in that land, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. Is the volume good? What's her secret. 
Chilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, yeah, then your I mind sick. and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she true. believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, Honestly, she likes they're to doing pretty good in the tree branches. That's I don't think right. this is we bad. Doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. The, it is giving music. Oh yeah, that's a popular pastime <laughs> in her tribe, right? <laughs> Absolutely. See those earpieces in her ears? It is mm -hmm. kind of giving. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Cool. But so in like, you, you know, <laughs> like a and very understandable, help her in a very understandable way. They're pretty handy. Wow, it seems like her skill set is. Really <laughs> you know what I mean, convenient. though, right? Like mm -hmm. it's. And as a smith, like, her skill set also comes They're not voice actors. <laughs> Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's yeah, it is look. cute. It is Great. cute. I like it. <laughs> God damn, dude, she got the Ooh, she got the toes out for free. Soul's blessing attire, cool. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing look so easy. Yeah. She can even stop in the middle of her climb <laughs> Wait, and take in the, the surrounding view. Nice. I bet she finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. Interesting. When she finds New enemy. Interesting. She immediately springs into action. Dude, her cloak or cape thing is like an equal. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> she's intense. What the? Speaking Started of intense, a leopard. Let's discuss her huh? battle mechanics. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat too. See those three objects next to her? They uh -huh. look like gems, stacks, right? Well, every character gets three stacks, that dude. Were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Why yeah, not and their color can change. Yeah, no, they are. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, but their element will change Wait. when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro. Oh my gosh, she's Wonder Two Point All. For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned she with knows? Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to hydro damage. Oh, okay. Wait, well, what the fuck? How do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers what? will be activated. What? This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of Wait, nearby Wait, is this enemies. Geo, Kazu, okay, and Wonder? What is happening right now? Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters in your party. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Bro, Soul Bro, she's going to be the most exactly. busted Geo character to exist. Allow her to if they put her on standard, that's insane, but I don't think they will. Resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead oh of God. rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh really? That's Shilonen pretty sick. also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with <gasps> one of your party members will allow Refills them phlogiston? to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Oh, that's oh. huge, Shilonen's dude. Oh, that's so fucking cool. deals AoE Geo damage. And if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. Wait, all she's right. a... That's all we have for She's Shilonen's also Geo... Dude, she's yep. a jack of all trades. Oh, God I damn. To something important. What is it? <laughs> Ancient names. Shilonen inherited God the damn. art of ancient name forging. The Pyro Archon even appointed her to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Ancient names record the deeds of Netland's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. Yeah, that is really cool. Natland cherishes its ancient names. Few have yeah. the honor of being recognized by past heroes, Geo and Bila. even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen and ancient name forging. Dude, this and is like she's like got passion and a friend died or something. Like she's just got a bit of every element. And level up materials by completing Shilonen's Tribal Chronicle during Pog. version 5.1. Speaking Great. of forging an ancient name for the Traveler, at the end uh -huh. of the last Archon quest, 
the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, we got at three the and four. Is an outlander. So their adventures in that way aren't recorded. In Why the is it called Al Conquest Chapter if Five Act recorded, Three and Act Four? Then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient. Oh, because it's not like. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder the Power Archon said nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon Quest, we'll Shut have up, to I'm figure smart. out how to overcome <laughs> that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from the Masters of the Night Wind. Oh, Sitlali cool. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub. So Dude, she, she looks fucking awesome. The in our what favorite. the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, glitch. The Prim name Primos? Won't be the only obstacle. Freemage. The threat Drum? of the abyss remains, that one and it seems like Aurora, <gasps> a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is he's working back. on a secret plan. Well, he's here. Ooh. There's so he's wearing red jeans. Travelers can also earn extra Primo gems from this Electro! quest, right? <laughs> You're exactly right. Just like in oh version 5.0, travelers can earn an extra 500 <laughs> Primo gems if they complete the Natland it looks very cool. Quest Act 3 and Act 4 during Ow. version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra rewards what? will also be available for exploring that oh, yeah. during We saw this in the dev update thing. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra premium. I think this is a good change. I saw a lot of people being like, ah, and FOMO. Increasing I think it's good. Exploration progress. Travelers who already reached the required amount of progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards Because they want the more primos version. and then they but crap out But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That means you will have all of version 5.1 oh, oh. and 5.2 to satisfy and it's available the for 12 weeks. and claim the rewards. Yeah. That's can amazing. Can expect similar rewards Jesus. to become available as the map expands yeah. in future updates? You bet. People ain't Limited got time to explore time in 12 weeks, then that's on them. Offered for all future I'm sorry, areas. they don't need the extra Each fucking 500 primos. Is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That oh, way, yeah. travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So what? you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. But guys, we should we all give the hate travelers an example. No problem. No one in likes version commissions. In 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. Uh -huh. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture Phlogiston aphids. It's not as um, simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to oh, grow unnaturally creatures. large. Wow, Ew. is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Wait, Natlin's really going through that's a fucking tough time. sauce. Tell Wait. me about it. Luckily, abyssal corrosion, corrosion makes these creatures grow unnaturally reversible. large. Start by unleashing a Well, that might be foreshadowing because Paimon and the, our Saurian companion keep saying they're going to reach two or three down, times the size of a mountain. Maybe they're going to get corrupted by abyssal energy. And characters land, have already been corrupted. Travelers who mm. venture into a specific underground cavern will discover a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. Paimon fucking... The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet yeah. Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Tell me why it kind of looks like a our new gnosis. Character and a new boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Like a chess piece. In the first half of version 5.1, travelers can look forward to event oh, wishes interesting. for Shilonen Ooh. and Chiori. Really? A new five-star sword. Yeah, dude, this weapon looks song. sick. Will be featured on the They're putting Shalona with Chiori? Who's gonna pull for Chiori when Shalona's right? We'll have returning event wishes for Nahida and Hutao. Yes, and new Damn. four star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during Ooh. version 5.1. Okay, keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Don't know. Uh, I'll claim I can't all that. Wait, but it's Fruitful about time hook. for our first break. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Pretty good. I don't know. Uh,. I think the banners are good. I th I genuinely think not many people at all, other than fucking super fans, are gonna pull for Chiori when Shilonen is literally just geo everything. She's literally geo power buff girl, dude. Sugar spice and everything nice. Exactly. It's like the best of the best. She's literally geo VV with heals. That's insane, dude. Yeah, she's fucking great. God damn, she's great. Yo, chat, someone put the first code in so I can read it out of Viv. <laughs> oh, I could just copy it if someone put it in chat. True. That would be great. Someone put the first code, please. You legends. 
we will appreciate it forever. To show you my generosity chat, I will show you my Pokemon haul before I end stream. I will be buying more, by the way. I am gonna go broke. Actually, I can show you. Never mind. I'll Welcome show you after. Back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone can figure out where we're at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Yeah, why are Things we in Sumeru? Really we just got festive. the Datline, guys. That's because we're <gasps> celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. <gasps> I still what? remember how the Sub Zero's festival Celebrate kept Nahida's repeating birthday. during the Archon Quest two years we ago. We never do this. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Sorastana. <laughs> right. And Everyone else fucking sucks. Nahida's character teaser was Nahida's so sad. Especially during that third oh instance God, of. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower, in a flower carriage. carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. Definitely. The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? Yeah, yeah man, absolutely. true birthday. So, in the version 5.1 event, Chromatic Ode of Candies and Roses, so Travelers cute. will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. I'm gonna buy all her right. socks. Finally. Yeah, actually, yeah, I have a few She should not be walking around the Sumeru Forest everyone. barefoot like Do you want like to man. take a sneak peek at this Jesus Christ. festival? Yeah, let's do it. I was looking at the Aranara and I was like, why are, why are feet out? It looks like they're secretly oh, discussing something. This year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler uh. has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nihita. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, True. travelers. The flower carriage <laughs> is another that? important part <laughs> of Subzeru's <laughs> festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature well, carriage to simulate the, 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 the prey. <laughs> I that think, way, oh it God. can go off without a hitch. Far is that? So nice Coffee! And the traveler Why are we actually giving her a flower carriage, though? I feel like this is PTSD. Escorting the carriage yeah, yeah. along the route. Wow. Maybe so we can the drug like her to wake up in the flower carriage. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara oh, are up. also involved in the festival. I was right. If you want to learn more carriage. about this year's Subzerus festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. <laughs> it's Maybe. time to make some memories sweeter than candied Ajilainak nuts. Travelers can also what? look forward to different types of gameplay during what the event. Nuts? Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event. <laughs> Wait, what is Rocking this? carriage. The goal is what in the Cinderella is going <laughs> on? To avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along uh, the way, and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. Okay, it's just nice. one of these. Okay. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, what travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search no. for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, search for so anomalies like in the dreams and the fix game. them. That's oh. this is my weird. specialties. <laughs> in the third is... event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, That's the Knight of very Flowers weird. must what is that eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible with Fixing anomalies in a memory or you a dream? You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Uh, I'm gonna keep it a book. A, a combat event has not flowers. excited me Bring in like two years, <laughs> dude. I find combat oh, events wow. very boring. Looks like someone's excited for the sub festival. I hope travelers But I'm feel starting to like the hey, I'm sure combat they will. more since Natlan, so. To Nahida's birthday celebration, Version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even okay. choose their own difficulty settings. <gasps> oh, cool. Okay. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. These Use ones them are better. to clear the challenge as quickly oh, as possible. You'll find tougher yeah. enemies at higher difficulty levels. I like these ones where you can in select the difficulty. Regimen Thrill. Travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Okay. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. 
New okay. Invisage Tackles challenges oh. will also be added. Wait, in who's getting added? Who's getting added? Travelers will now be able to obtain echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. <laughs> Bro, Zhongli's echo is really cool. <laughs> What? Yeah, no, it's not. It looks beautiful. like he's shitting himself, dude. That's me. cute. <laughs> Whoa, Jean, it looks like he's fucking letting him rip. Updates. What the fuck? <laughs> During version 5.1, a few familiar faces will also be added to Genius Invocation TCG. Oh, God. Travelers can look forward to new God character damn. cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. There's yeah. even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Wait, do you mean... Angel? That's right. Leave oh, leave it. Back okay, I like leaving too. I like leaving too. Like too. Always, okay. Travelers can exchange their <laughs> items for Primo Gems and uh. level materials. <laughs> I even heard that Natlin specific materials will be available yeah, during this latest I, just visit. Likes Monster. Awesome. That should be all for the version 5.1 event. Nah, there's more. There's more. That means it's about time for our second break. You got it. We'll be right back, travelers. Oh, third cold. Yeah, I forgot. There is more after this. I guess we'll probably hear about those spiral abyss changes and stuff. Oh, the music. The music. It's so cute, dude. PTSD OST, true. Damn, that's hard to say. PTSD OST. God fucking damn. Oh, so cute, dude. So cute. Uh, I'm excited for this update. I think it'll be a good one. I think it'll be a good one. I'm more excited, though, for drip marketing chat for next patch, because I want to see what the 5.2 characters are going to be. I want to know if I'm right about Durin shit. Because then that'll solidify in my head if we're going to get a Dragon Spine event, which we haven't had for like... Two years? Right, chat? Two years? Yeah. Because I, I don't think we're going to get uh, Mavuka in, in 5.2. Welcome back, travelers. I hope we don't. It's time to jump into the system the optimizations. Right <laughs> First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. This is huge. This change allows you to skip Floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on Floor 11 of the God, previous so Spiral Abyss. Huge. Obtaining full stars on Floor 12 will allow you to skip both Floor 9 and Floor 10. <sighs> Hopefully this you change will create a smoother this experience. For that the sounds so convenient. <laughs> it's so much know, Primos right? though. Just I as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be yeah. claimed manually. The floor rewards, such as domain reliquaries, will yeah, be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, Huge. you can now open <gasps> multiple domain reliquaries at once. Oh. Nice! We don't have to keep opening them one by one. What yeah. the hell are those? Continuing with more optimizations, icons. the filtering and sorting logic that? of the character artifact interface has different. been improved. The You'll system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. You can yeah, also this is sort cool. by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot Chat, easier so to close. filter artifacts for each character. Totally. They're so the close to lower The mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. This is you can humongous. You now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly no, sorry, in Chad, your no, inventory. This is not humongous. This a is pretty big, though. Also be added this is to the humongous. Event that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goal. This is fucking incredible. This will allow I'm you so to happy with this change. and craft the number of materials that you need. Now, you don't have to calculate the required so materials and quantities in advance. Yeah. You can do all of that at the crafting yeah. Yeah. Version 5.1 one will also be adding other small optimizations. Amazing. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All nice. right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns <gasps> four years old tomorrow. Yeah! We've had That's an so incredible cute. journey so far, right? Oh, Let's see where this path has taken cake. us. It's time Wait, to relive some amazing memories. Wait, Let's what is do this? it. What? Oh, what the hell? Wait. Wait. Is this actually going to be anime news? No, it's not, right? No. Well, they said this is just a relive amazing memories for the anniversary. Passing memories. Oh, what the hell?
This was a fake memory. So was that. So pure this fake shit. Then they don't. Sometimes it's rainy. Sometimes it's cloudy. That's what Oh, this is cool. The scene ahead's blurry. But we still must pursue the dream. Travel through the heights and shallow. Fucking wet socks. Put on a sturdy shell to piss up or else. I hear about your last train. Love is shining bright. Oh, this is so cool. I love this kind of art style, man. Travel through infinite dusk snows. Break through the strong tide on the other side. I hear you. Kata. Some words are heavy when some words are light. We are like to meet the other. This is all the sad shit, man. We'll Where's Tomo? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Pre watched. <laughs> Did this animation, man? And then Mabuka comes and saves the day, right? Or is that? Here's to four oh. years of Genshin Impact. Or hey, not? Happy birthday! <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time Maybe. gun? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. Anime this got announced in 3.1, right? Storm Terror. And this the is Battle 5.1? of the Jake Chamber, Nahida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada, the Masquerade of the Guilty. I know, I know. and I'm definitely going to have that song on repeat. That's yeah, exactly that what good. I did with the Natland Symphony performance. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album, Land of Tleayatl, is okay, about to be released. Okay, that's great. The, the album fact that it's coming out already. Discs, featuring 78 original tracks 78 composed for Genshin Impact. tracks on the first Yay, album. Yay, we can out. finally add Natland's regional soundtrack to our Jesus playlist. Jesus Christ. Yes. That is amazing. All right. Is that it, though? Hmm. That is looks it? like all the information we have to share. That was a lot. That was, a lot. That was great. It's time but for the special program to come to an end. There might there be a little. You want to say <laughs> is, there gonna, is there gonna be something yeah, extra? For sure. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. By the way, and, I think these hey, two killed on. it. Fourth anniversary. That's so huge. Yeah. I mean, we've put so much work into this game over the years, and every it. version has yeah. been special. But I, I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean. Seriously, Genshin Impact is 
is no new not area. Only I reckon it'll be next patch. A game to me is my work. Mm. It's my life. Yeah, like right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I talk about Genshin Impact every day, and I interact with players online. It's all these years. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. I don't really expect totally. a new, a new full area this with time, this. Just because truly, I do expect the Dragon Spine event guys are players and more are continue stuff. playing this game. Like and a new, a new area at, at that Just point. as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. The, no, the totally Night Realm, That's Night Kingdom. So great. Well, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, really it's time for us to say goodbye. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Nice. Bye. That was cute. Now, is it going to fade to black and then disappear? Or, oh, yeah. that is the end. That, is that was it. great, though. Also, this, this artwork is really, really nice. Yeah. Goddamn. Hey, Bob, if you're watching, She's use this one for on the you. thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, make a step on me for the thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, god damn, dude, what a live stream. That was great. I actually do think that was a very, very good live stream. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Chat, I don't know what about you guys. I'm, I'm really happy with that, genuinely. Uh, I thought it was very, very good. 